Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here, and welcome back, or if it's your first time to our channel, then welcome to Eat, Move, Rest. Yes, yeah, so today we've got a Super Bowl friendly recipe for you. We are making tacos. We're going to be making a lentil quinoa taco meat. It's protein packed and we know you guys are gonna love it. We made these for the first time a few weeks back and we've been loving them ever since. So we thought we'd have to share them with you guys. <laughs> Super Bowl fans or not, you will be fans of this recipe. Side note, this is our first recipe video with the addition of our newest family member, baby Maxwell. He is sound asleep right now, but if you guys catch any squeaks or peaks, we may have to interrupt this broadcast. Hashtag mom life. <laughs> Baby Max just turned one month yesterday on January 23rd. Time is flying by. So he is all geared up for the Super Bowl. He's got his football in hand and his little Nike onesie. And if any of you guys are curious, this is not an ad or a collaboration, but this is called the Mama Roo by Four Moms. Check them out on social media. He loves this thing. And I figured I might get some questions, so I would just clue you guys in on the details. For your lentil quinoa taco meat, you will need one cup of rinsed green lentils, one cup of rinsed quinoa. We have white quinoa. Alternatively, you can use a tricolor or red quinoa to get more of a meaty color. A half cup or a half of a red onion, two to three garlic cloves, and then the spices and seasonings you will need are one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of chili powder, and salt and pepper to taste. Next are our fresh toppings. This is gonna be where the bulk of your nutrition comes into play with your plant-powered tacos. So we have an abundance of colorful, raw, vegan ingredients, whole foods. You can't go wrong with any of these. We've got some shredded romaine. We've got, like I said, the romaine leaves for our taco boats, fresh lime. We've got rainbow bell peppers, red onion, cherry tomatoes, this is just thawed frozen corn, which is what we like to use. It's a simple, quick fix. Um, we've got fresh mango, fresh avocado slices or whipped, and then this is our secret ingredient. This is our raw vegan cashew nacho cheese. So if you're interested in the full recipe to this, we do have it linked below in the description. So check that out because last year's recipe was just as epic as this one's going to be. So for some protein packed, hearty and delicious sides, you can include rinsed black beans and cooked brown rice. And for your tacos, we've got mini tortilla shells here. These are corn tortillas, certified organic. We also have hard shells. You can also use blue corn chips or my personal preference is to make romaine taco boats. First, we're gonna get our beans, our rice, and our grains cooked up. Like to rinse our brown rice always. Actually, we rinse all of our grains. Then we are gonna cook our brown rice in our instant pot. This is actually our Kosori pressure cooker and it is so super easy. It actually has a brown rice button. Typically, you cook your grains in a one to two ratio, so one cup of grains and two cups of water, but in the pressure cooker, you actually use one cup of grains and three cups of water. So I'm gonna put three cups of water in here, close it up, and simply hit the brown rice button and start. So for our lentil quinoa taco meat, the first thing we're gonna do is rinse and drain our lentils and our quinoa, cook them each separately on the stove top, and then we're also going to saute our onion and our garlic. So now we've got our lentils and our quinoa both cooking on the stove top. Typical rule of thumb for any grain is two cups of water to one cup of grains. So we've got our green lentils in one pan, we have our quinoa in the other, and up front here we are going to be sauteing onion and garlic when they're all cooked up and those onions are slightly translucent and smell delicious, then we're going to add them into the mix, stir all of it together and add in our seasonings. So once your grains are brought to a boil, then we're going to reduce it to medium to low heat and let those cook up until all of the water is absorbed and your grains are soft and fluffy. While Dusty is chopping up the other fresh ingredients, I'm going to be making this simple three ingredient mango salsa 
that is my favorite. All it takes is a fresh mango, squeeze of half of a lime, and cilantro. Quick tip for storing your fresh herbs, cut the ends just like you would a bouquet of flowers and pop them into some fresh filtered water. It works especially well with cilantro and then you can place this in your refrigerator and it will keep for probably about two weeks. Okay you guys, the rice is done. So we release that, let it sit for another couple minutes, stir it up, it should be good to go. So if you guys remember last year's nacho recipe, we made a similar lentil meat recipe. And something we like to do is take about half of our cooked lentils and rinse them in cold water and then pulse them in our food processor. Now if you try to pulse them while they're still hot, they're just gonna turn to mush. So the cold water rinse is definitely necessary. Blend them up and it'll give the taco meat a great texture. So once everything is cooked up, I've just combined our sauteed onion and garlic along with the pulsed lentils and our cooked quinoa. It's beginning to look meaty and it will look even more so as soon as we add in our seasoning mix. Okay guys, it's game time and that means it's time to prep with some tacos. So I've got my romaine boats and I'm just gonna take some of our taco meat and fill them up. We have got a hungry family. We're starving. <laughs> Max is starving. We're fighting back tears over here and we are ready to eat. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. We are definitely going to enjoy it in about two <laughs> minutes. Mm, it's so good. Mm, love that. That mango is key. You guys know the drill. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave us some love below. Share the video with friends. Follow us on social media all of the above, and you know what to do. Eat, move, and rest your best. Bye, Peace, guys. guys.